Court, Jungle Habits 3, Deep from Chief Scott, Destiny Call, Skinner's Regret and Sammy Bye Bye Crown the King by a half at the 450. Dirty Diana second, Samuel Morgan starting to close the gap on that pair. Master Paulsborough needs luck, he's locked up tight from Safersky and Jungle Habits. Crown the King in front when they turn, he leads by a neck to Dirty Diana. Samuel Morgan three deep and now Jungle Habits out four wide, letting go. Crown the King led for home but Jungle Habits collars him quickly. Jungle Habits shot to the front. It's all over. Jungle Habits raced away from Crown the King. Skinner's regret and destiny calls late, but a mile too late, and Jungle Habits bolted in. Jungle Habits won the money. Skinner's regret second. Third toss of the coin. Destiny calls out wide. Crown the King on the fence. Then Master Paulsborough, who was never out from Dirty Diana. Samuel Morgan, Trio Court, Vikings Memory, Chief Scott, and Sammy. Bye bye. Oh, jungle. 13 and a photo. Over the last two into the boxes. They're all set now. This is the first leg in Sydney. Racing. Lobby Webster's come out OK and drives right along the rails to try to get across from Pippi Longsock showing speed at the first corner. They jam up behind them. It's Lobby Webster and Pippi Longsocks going together. Going to third was Big Bad Bruno followed by November Rule. Golden King, Corathill and Flat Top. And uh, pulling out of the race there was the Czechs. Happy New Year's on the home corner. Lobby Webster's in front out by two lengths to Pippi Longsocks and a long break to the others. But Lobby Webster ha holds Pippi Longsocks at bay. Lobby Webster first, Pippi Longsock second, Golden King third, behind those flat top. Then came a break to Big Bad Bruno, next to last, Corathil. November Rule, who got into bother, was a long way last and failing to complete the course. Happy New Year's. Easy win to uh, Lobby Webster. Number one, Lobby Webster first. Wound up. Colonist Heaven Lord Parade in South Australia. I'm not even going to mention our cold beers and our fabulous meals, our TAB facilities and our Sky Channel. And I won't even mention we have a great boss, friendly staff. So why don't you just come down and have a look for yourself? Pop in here on a Friday night, toss the barmaids and Belinda for a drink, and we'll see you then. Cheers. <laughs> Let's pick four. They're set. And the way in racing, now top mate from out wide is being driven out early, going with it though towards the inside of Benero Bell and also Baker Street. Oriana Skipper crosses to the rails inside of those. And as they go around that first turn, now Baker Street's going to work to the lead. So Baker Street clears out four metres, Benero Bell. Without cover, top mate, Oriana Skipper running fourth. They've gone very hard in the early part. Ten metres to Raskan on the inside of New Kid in town. Next along in the field, then Empire Ginger. Uh, further back in the field on settling, we have Riviera Cam. It's going to settle a long way back in trouble, Minted. They uh, jammed up a little bit there as they slowed. And last, in fact, second last looking on Minted was last. Now, Riviera Cam takes off as soon as they steady. And with a lap and a half to run, it's Baker Street by two or three metres. Riviera Cam moves to second. Benero Bell behind the leader and now with a trail top made. Three back the rails, Ras Khan on its outside. Oriana Skipper, new kid in town next around Empire Ginger looking on second last and now taking off from the tail minted. First quarter 31 3 as they're getting the siren and the leader is Baker Street, led three metres. Riviera Cam running second, top mates 1 1. Benero Bell's had the box seat out three deep, minted slowly going forward. It gets past Oriana Skipper. Raskan buried away on the rails, looking on following minted. Empire Ginger needs an awful lot of luck and new kid in town in the centre. 31 8 the second quarter as they make their way into the back straight. Six 600 metres left to run. Still it's Baker Street leading three metres. In second placing, Riviera Cam Minted moves up three deep. No run yet for Benero Bell. Top mates now in a pocket in the centre. Looking on with the cart home. Raskar nowhere to go. Then Oriana Skipper, new kid in town, pulls out wide. And Empire Ginger last of all. Coming off the back, they've got to get Baker Street. It's still two metres clear. Riviera Cam not done with though. It's still working away on the outside. No run for Benero Bell. Minted still out three wide. 
then still making some ground. Then New Kid in Town top made. They turn. Still it's Baker Street. Riviera Camp can't get it. Minted down the outside. No run. Benero Bell. Baker Street the leader. Minted going to it. Benero Bell gets a late sprint on the outside. Doing best, Minted, and Minted's got up and won a metre. Baker, Spl uh, Baker Street got second. Benero Bell snuck through along the inside for third. I think it might have been New Kid in town there for fourth. There's a heap of them there, though. Raskan, Oriana Skipper, Empire Ginger Mate, Lake Grand, Riviera Cam couldn't go on from looking on. And top mate, one of the last in. 12-5 and 4, race 4 at Globe Derby there. 12-5 and 4. Now, let's have a look at the... Money up to the boxes. Set to go, race 7. Ready? And racing, beginning well was Big Beware over imposing Cape and on the outside Bold and Sharp from Regal Trees. Out of the straight, Bold and Sharp in front. Holding the inside was imposing Cape. Two lengths away, third Regal Trees followed by Sash the Loot, Frosty Legend from Worth the Worry. Back towards the rear of the field was Renegade Squaw and last of all was Big Beware. At the top turn, Bold and Sharp a length and a half in front pressed by imposing Cape. Six lengths, third Stash the Loot followed by Frosty Legend. In the straight, Bold and Sharp in front imposing Cape. The inside won't get it. Bold and Sharp first. Bold and Sharp beat it. Second was Imposing Cape and third was Frosty Legend followed by Worth the Worry. Regal Tree Stash the Loot. Big Beware and last of all was Renegade Squaw. 8, 3 and 7. Number 8, Bold and Sharp first to Black Bitch by Amerigo Mena de Vosti's Pride. Owned by M Hill and trained by B Jukes at Kingswood to pay 340 the win, 130 for the place. 3, Imposing Cape. Uh, P. Dobson from Catherine Field second at $2 and 7 Frosty Legend J. Light South Mulgrave at $2.10. It's 8, 3 and 7. All set for a start. Short price favourite Franco Tiger set for a start. They're racing. Franco Tiger showing early speed with Bonds Atros and also Appen on lad. Highland Walker's in the fight early as he's now being restrained. Franco Tiger, so Appen on lad goes through and leads Bonds Atros early. On the fence is non peril and up on the outside is Highland Walk, followed five metres away by Pintara Caramar. Franco Tiger now being restrained. He dropped out the second last, third last Empire fella, and it's Elliot last and one off the fence. Appen on lad leads around the turn in the first set by five metres. Without cover, Bonds across. The leader's back as non peril. Highland Walk gets to fourth. Off the track now, Franco Tiger from second last. He has to make his move a long way out three wide. He couldn't get in the running line. On the rail is Empire Fella. Second last and five metres away, Pintara Karama. And it's Elliot last on the fence. Well, at the moment, Franco Tiger's having no luck at all. He tried to work around the outside of Bonds across. He couldn't. Bonds across kicked up, kept uh, Franco Tiger three wide, but he's now won the battle five. Finally, Franco Tiger. He ends up with a cover one by one at the expense of Bonds Atros. Down the back towards the 1500. The leader is Appen on lad by five metres. Two on the inside, non peril. Now Bonds Atros is racing without cover. Franco Tiger on his back. On the leader's back is non peril. Three back on the rail is Empire Fella. Then Highland Walk the running line. It's Elliot second last and two metres away, Pintara Karama. Coming off the top turn once again. The leader from the outset has been Appen on lad. He's had a pretty good run by a metre and a half. Bonds across on the outside second with his tail waving in the breeze. non peril third with cover Franco Tiger. After having no luck in the first 700 metres, Highland Walker's trailing him. Empire fell of the rail. Second last, it's Elliot and on the outside, Pintara Karamar last. Inside the 1,000 metres still happen on lad in control by a metre and a half to Bonds across. Fourth on the outside is Franco Tiger. Third, the leader's back is non peril Then Highland Walk in the running line. Empire fell three back on the rail and four metres away. It's Elliot, second last on the inside of Pintara Karamar at the 750 out of the straight towards the back. And the leader still has happened on lad. He's had a nice run by three metres. Bonds across on the outside, still without cover. non peril third. Franco Tiger fourth, fifth on the rail. Empire fellow. Highland Walkers third, last and four metres away. Pintara Karamar last on the outside of It's Elliot. Towards the 450 they race. It's still happened on lad. Now shaken up by almost four metres. Two Bonds across on the outside of non peril Franco Tiger. He now pulls to the outside once again out three wide. Highland Walk trailing him. Empire Fella comes one off the fence. Then it's Elliot and four metres away. Pintara Karama. Appen on late comes to the home turn. 220 out three metres in front of Franco Tiger. Out after him now. Followed by non peril Bonds Atros gone. Highland Walk making round but Franco Tiger. He ambled up on the outside. He picked up Appen on late in a bound. Highland Walk gets into second placing. Franco Tiger though in front by a metre and a half. 
half. He's had no luck. He's hanging on. Highland Walker's lunging. Franco Tiger just in front. He's poked his nose in front right on the line. And I reckon he's wanted a short half head. Franco Tiger from Highland Walk. Tight photo. Pintara Caramar third. non pareil close up from its Elliot. Appen on lad found nothing from Empire Fellow. And last in was Bonzatross. Judge calling for the photo on the fifth. The minute man... Racing, Lawrence Desire away okay. Supreme Laughter left well, son of Mandy goes to the lead and hunting through a merry go maker at the first corner. Lawrence Desire boots up three wide to join the leaders and then Night Ghost from Striking Opal. Ultimate tip is wide, Supreme Laughter and last of all Pretty Legend down the back and getting along the rails, a merry go maker shot to the lead. Racing wide, son of Mandy. Lawrence Desire crosses on the outside, Night Ghost and Striking Opal. Around the corner, merry go Monica is the leader. In second position was Lawrence Desire but a merry go maker goes on to score three quarters to Lauren's desire night ghost got up for third from supreme laughter son of mandy striking opal ultimate tip and last of all pretty legend all right thanks pete 189 there race six at Woody. now the next at brisbane is due in four minutes from now and they're pretty close to a start at newcastle five to two on there's the blue light, they're off and racing in the seventh event and Tappy Trumps and Jick Power got out smartly. Abonagur began well and tearing through is King Rankin to take the lead at the post the first time. Coming across is Native Magic, trying to find a posse but caught three wide at the moment as Master Speed kicks up in the centre. Tappy Trumps came off the fence there, followed by Abonagur on the turnout of the straight. Mark Sun's a fair way back, a fair bit of speed on early. Sonographer Girl back second last and Bugs 2 is at the tail of the field. Strung out as they work to the back past the mile peg and the leader is King Rankin. About a length and a half clear of Jick Power through on the inside. Moving up on the outside of it is Native Magic, the first without cover. A length and a half further back to Master Speed, followed by Tappy Trumps, who's being tapped along this far from home. About two and a half of Bonagur, who can't keep up. And then Mark Sun, stenographer girl and Bugs two together at the strung out field as they leave the back behind them. 1,300 metres left to go. And the leader, King Rankin, ensuring an honest tempo. Leads by a length and a half. In second spot is Native Magic. Running up on the outside into third is Master Speed as they turn the corner, followed by Jick Power and then Tappy Trumps. About four lengths further back to Mark Sun. Bugs two setting out after the main bunch on the outside. Being trailed up by Stenographer Girl and a Bonagur drops to the rear and under the whip. One circuit left to go, coming up to the post. And it's King Rankin, the leader. A length and a half clear of Native Magic sitting behind the leader. Moving up on the outside, Master Speed without cover, followed by Jick Power on the rail. Then came Tappy Trumps one by one. Mark Sun tucked away on the fence next, followed by Bugs Two, and then Stenographer Girl pulled to the outside, but giving them a fair start, and a Bonagur is four lengths away at the rear. Down the back they race. 700 metres left to travel. And the leader is King Rankin. About to be tackled and headed off by Master Speed on the outside. Native Magic's about to get off the fence. Tappy Trumps goes three deep to start a run. Followed by Bugs 2. And then came Mark Sun and Stenographer Girl as they pack right up. 500 metres left to go. Master Speed hit the front but it's immediately under pressure. Tackled by Tappy Trumps and Bugs 2 out three deep. Native Magic held up for a run. Stenographer Girl goes around the outside of it. And then came Mark Sun as they race to the 300 metre mark. 300 metres left to go and getting to the front, Tappy Trumps tackled by Bugs 2 on the outside. Native Magic getting clear for the first time, wheeling around the outside. Through on the inside is Master Speed across the track. Native Magic raced up with 150 metres left to go. Native Magic shot to the lead, the driver looks pretty confident. Yep, it's all over. Native Magic starting to draw away in the run of the post and Native Magic wins it easily. Tight for second, Tappy Trumps may have beaten Master Speed for second, Bugs 2 just behind those, followed by Mark Sun, Stenographer Girl didn't go on in the straight, a long way back to Jick Power at long intervals, then came the early leader King Rankin and a Bonagur at the tail of the field. Nine and a foot. Pick is uh, just a peak, number nine at five dollars and forty cents, around the nine to two mark. Grant's Law the pole, just a peak the outside of the front, and away they go. Grant's Law came out of the gate very quickly. Just a peek out wide began well, but Grant's Law heads just a peek into the first turn. Son of Fury second, Land of Mine on the outside, and then Hike along, followed by a Pale Face Turbo around Serendipity Grant, then Demon Gary, followed by Powerhouse Prince and Almost an Angel. Misty Warrior second, last and Kira Sun drops out to the tail of the field. Grant's Law in front at the end of the first quarter. 
order. Just a peak posted without cover. Sonafuri third on the back of the leader. Landermine fourth around Serendipity Grant and then Paleface Turbo three back in the running lane. Demon Gary on the fence from Hike Along and almost an angel out three deep. Powerhouse Prince third last. Kira Sun second last and Misty Warrior whipped them in. 29.2 for the first quarter of the mile. Grant's Law in front as they make the turn out of the straight, leading by a length to just a peak and one to Son of Fury. A length to land a mine and almost an angel three wide past the 800 metres pole. Serendipity Grant's locked away on the fence on the inside of Pale Face Turbo. Two to Demon Gary. Three to hike along, then Powerhouse Prince, Kiwi uh, Kira Sun and a Misty Warrior last. 31.8 for the second section. Grant's Law opening up down the back at the 500. He leads by a length and a half to just a peak, two to land a mine around Son of Fury, almost an angel out three wide, then Serendipity Grant, Pale Face Turbo, Demon Gary, and a long break to Kira's son, but it's Grant's Law, a length in front at the 250, just a peak shaken up, trying to chase the leader, Son of Fury third, and they're clear of land a mine, and Serendipity Grant, Grant's Law in front around the bend, just a peak under heavy pressure, Son of Fury's about to work into the clear, Grant's Law's under pressure now, Son of Fury after him. Serendipity Grant's whizzing home, but Grant's Law holds them and he wins. Grant's Law from Son of Fury and Serendipity Grant. Then just a peak, Kira's son, Powerhouse Prince, Demon Gary, Misty Warrior, Paleface Turbo, Hike Along, Almost an Angel, and Land of Mine, 158.6 the time. Okay, 125 here, race five at Albion Park, and Grant's Law beating Son of Fury. And All set. Green light. Money up to the boxes. They're ready. Racing. Beginning well was Good Time Idol over J.R. Jim, who's moving up to take up the front posse. Joanne Kim is third as they jam. Magic 10. One went via the Cape Stormy Mick. Out of the straight, Greg's Road moves up in the middle, challenging brother Justin. Joanne Kim. Off the speed was Stormy Mick, followed by J.R. Jim from King Turtle, Good Time Idol. And two last was Magic 10. Down the side of the track, and brother just takes the front by two on Stormy Mick second. Two lengths third was Greg's Road. In the straight, though, brother just drives away. It's all brother just wins by four. Brother Just first. Second, Stormy Mick. Third was King Turtle. Followed by Greg's Road and also Magic 10. Joanne Kim, Good Time Idol. And last of all was J.R. Jim. Three, eight and seven the placings. Number three, Brother Just first. A white and red fawn dog by Brother Fox out of Just a Dream. And by Kay Geddes and... Kenny. Ready and racing. Now, Poshak goes forward, and Mike's Choice will go forward with Poshak. Lancashire Stars trying to get across to the rails. Inside of it was Laminated Clear. Uh, she's nearly found the rails. No, she hasn't, Lancashire Star, because Laminated Clear drives up, but you'll land 1-1 one, one in the early part. Poshak went to the lead, but it looks like he'll hand up, so Mike's Choice is going to work to the front. Mike's Choice led. Goes four metres on Poshak, and this does leave Lancashire Star without cover. Laminated Clear, three back the rails. Betanim is one out and one back. Four metres, Helen's pleasure, and four metres away at the tail with a job to do already was tip-top Prince. Although here is a move coming from Betanim. They go to the two and a half lap mark and the pilot is Mike's choice. By four metres, Betanim moves up second. Poshak with the run of the race behind the leader and now Lancashire Stars got the 1-1. One, one. Three back the rails, laminated clear. Then four metres, Helen's pleasure, and four metres to tip-top Prince at the tail. Not a lot of pace in the first lap as they swing into the straight, two and a quarter laps left to run. And it's Mike's choice, three metres in front. In second placing, Betanim. Behind the leader, Poshak, Lancashire star. The third fastest mare in the history of Australian harness racing on the outside, running fourth. Down on the rails, laminated clear. Three metres away, then Helen's pleasure. And four metres to tip top, Prince at the tail. Early lap won't be quick. They've only run 123.4. And Mike's choice has got away with a fairly easy first lap. He's three metres in front in second placing Betanim on the rails behind the leader getting the great trail is Poshak one out one back Lancashire star third on the rails laminated clear or three back the rails I should say back second last Helen's pleasure and still tip top Prince is biding his time at the tail heading down the back straight Mike's choice has travelled well for Lance Justice he's three metres in front in second placing Betanim there's been no change now for a lap on the rails Poshak still one out and one back was Lancashire 
Lancashire Star. Laminated clear on the inside. Three metres to Helen's pleasure. And how much longer will John Justice wait? He's still waiting on Tip Top Prince. They've only run 32.9 that quarter, so they're going to sprint home very quickly. Mike's Choice straightens up at the bell. Leads three metres to Bettenham, and here comes Tip Top Prince. He's quickly getting around them, and he will get around the field. Lancashire Star stays in. Poshak on the rails. Laminated clear the inside. And Helen's Pleasure onto the back of Tip Top Prince. They make their way towards the back now. And with just over 700 to run, Mike's Choice went 31-5 that quarter. Four metres in front of Bettenham. Still Poshak in behind the leader and three deep Tip Top Prince. In the centre, Lancashire Star. Behind them, Laminated clear and Helen's Pleasure on the back of Tippy. Down the back they head. Mike's Choice is going pretty well. He's three metres in front. Betten in the outside. John Just is urging Tip Top Prince on. He still makes a little bit of ground. The rails Poshak going well. Helen's Pleasure will have to come four wide. Then Lancashire Star laminated clear. Both held up. Halfway around the turn though. It's Mike's Choice doing it strongly. He's three metres to Betten in. Tip Top Prince is struggling. Poshak looking for a split. Four wide Helen's Pleasure. Into the straight. Mike's Choice the leader. Betten in can't get it. Poshak the inside, then Tip Top Prince, but Mike's Choice is going to be too good, and Mike's Choice leads throughout to win three metres, second placing Poshak, laminated clear, snuck along the rails to grab third from Bettenham, then Tip Top Prince and Helen's Pleasure. The ones out wide couldn't make ground, Lancashire Star one of the last. Well, I'll check those there, five for one, race five at Globe Derby, Mike's Choice, the victor there in the fifth. Now let's take it to Peter. Seven. Yellow Copper Magnet running as the favourite. Good backing for many others. Racing, Copper Magnet jump well. Copper Magnet straight to the lead at the first corner, going to second, six kings as they round that first bend. In third position, Kwazulu, Kovalina can't lead tonight, which bank and dropping out to La Shandian. Copper Magnet's in front and leads by two lengths. Six kings is sticking with it past the post with a lap to go. Kwazulu is handy in third. On the outside, Kovalina a break, Shandian and which bank is last. Copper Magnet leads, is under pressure as six kings goes to it now. Uh, behind those was Kwazulu, was right on there, Hammer and Kobolina on the outside. Up to the corner now, Six Kings went to the lead from Copper Magna, but Kwazulu's the one. Kwazulu on the outside, strode to the lead on the straight hand. Kwazulu is too good. Kwazulu scores. Second was Six Kings, Kobolina third. Copper Magnet behind them, a break in the field of Shandian, who never got hot, and which bank was last. Good effort by Kwazulu. Always uh, a danger when uh, they're set green light comes up and away they go out wide bluey's mate restrained with dreamy express away very quickly is marquita expo she goes to an early lead from on the outside awesome gary and also going forward as lg ross as awesome gary now looks for the lead coming off the top turn vance runner back in the field hopped out of his gear momentarily awesome gary now works to the lead around the turn in the first circuit by two and a half meters to lg ross third now marquita expo fourth with cover is kate's comet she now works up to the one by one just for a stride and now pulls to the outside three wide on the rail is Riviera Parry Pursue Gordon Gecko racing deep being restrained now followed by Vance Runner on the outside of Dreamy Express Bluey's mate the fence second last Vance a gent and three metres away Gordon Gecko two circuits out of the judge the first time in front is awesome Gary by three and a half metres Kate's coming on the outside second without cover from the rear now Vance a gent pulls to the outside three wide a long way from home Marquita Expo on the leaders back in the centre is LG G. Ross on the fences, Riviera Parry Pursue. Four metres away, Dreamy Express is four back on the inside of Holy Smoke. In behind them came three metres away, Vance Runner racing outside Graham T. And six metres away, Gordon Gecko. Half along the back straight once again. Awesome Gary in front, now steadied by a metre. Travelling up Vance Agent to be a clear second. Third the rail, Mark Heater Expo. Kate's Comet again has to cover fourth. In behind them came Riviera Parry Pursue on the rail. Two metres to LG Ross. Dreamy Express on the fence, working up on the outside Holy Smoke. Third last on the rail is Graham T. Second last is Vance Rana. And five metres away the fence and last is Gordon Gecko. Around the turn they travel once again towards the 950. Awesome Gary, still the pilot. He's had a nice run by three metres. Two on the outside Vance Agenda, the leader's wheel. Third placing Mark Hitter Expo. She's had a nice drop behind the leader. Kate's Comet fourth. Locked away Riviera Perry Pursue. LG Ross in the running line being trailed up by Holy Smoke.
smoke. Then Dream Express still four back on the fence. Third last is Graham T. Second last is Vance Rana. And three metres away, Gordon Gecko. They're in the final lap towards the 650. Awesome Gary in the van. By a neck to Vance Agent. Four metres away, Kate's Comet on the outside of Marquita Expo. Four metres away, Riviera Parry Pursue. Followed by LG Ross. In behind them, Holy Smoke. Not going well from Dreamy Express. Vance Rana, then Graham T. And five metres to Gordon Gecko towards the 450 before the turn. Awesome Gary being joined and shaded by Vance Agent on the outside. Kate's Comet about to pull to the outside three wide. Marquita Expo needing a run, followed by LG Ross pulling out. Dreamy Express is coming off the fence, running home, followed by Riviera Perry Pursue. 220 metres out on the turn. Awesome Gary by a metre. Under pressure, Vance Agent. Kate's Comet now joining in down the outside, followed by Dreamy Express. Kate's Comet grabbed the lead from Awesome Gary. Dreamy Express is getting out, making ground, but Kate's Comet in front over the concluding stages, driven right out, and Kate's Comet wins by two metres to Dreamy Express. Awesome Gary weakened third, then Marquita Expo, LG Ross, Vance Agent knocked up from Riviera Parry Pursue, then Graham T, Gordon Gecko, holy smoke, and last in was Vance Rana. OK, we'll check those there. Nine, six and four, Newcastle, the updated market, it's uh, seven to two now for number one. Nine to one for number two, and that is uh, Fighting Mac. Five to one for number three. And they're all set. Green light. Money up to the box is ready for race nine. And racing, dwelling at the start, persistent lass and winning the break was Leanne Francis with rapid ruffles and out wide on the track was Black Bundy for money for me. Down the side the first time, Leanne Francis by a length and a half. On second, Black Bundy. Third was money for me, close. Three for the back, persistent lass, followed by perpetual motion from shaved design. Rapid ruffles and last was Barcelona Rose. To the back straight, Leanne Francis out by three. Money for me moves to second. Two lengths, third was Black Bundy, followed by persistent lass. Three shaved design, eight for the back to Barcelona Rose followed by Rapid Ruffles and also Perpetual Motion down the side Leanne Francis still two and a half in front of Black Bundy second third money for me into the straight Leanne Francis giving plenty as race two in front it's all Leanne Francis Leanne Francis wins well second Black Bundy third persistent last followed by Shave Design money for me knocked up from Barcelona Rose Perpetual Motion and last of all was Rapid Ruffles 173 there Leanne Francis the winner Race nine at Penrith. Now, Albion Park, let's update the market for you on Brisbane. They're racing. Our Skippy Trumps was one of the best to begin on the inside. Ironbark Warrior got out smartly and Inform is showing pace soon after the jump. Billy Clay and out deep, Mabel McGee and Avon Ace quickly away and there's a charge into that first corner. Avon Ace and Mabel McGee coming across from out deep and Inform and Skippy Trumps kicking through on the inside. Skippy Trumps went a bit roughly on the turn out of the straight but might have enough pace to hold them all out. Billy Clay is just behind them settling down, followed by Free Jest and then came Ironbark Warrior. Fair way back on the inside is Fighting Mac as they get down the back straight past the mile peg. Mr GA is a long way back and Summersby Princess is at the tail of the field. Sorting themselves out and uh, the leader is Mabel McGee from Avon Ace moving up to be second. But he's uh, not happy with the pace on Avon Ace and he takes the lead now. Skippy Trumps is third on the inside followed by Inform and then came Billy Clay free Jest Ironbark Warrior. Fighting Max a long way back so too is Mr GA and Summersby Princess at the tail of the field. Avon Ace speeds away, coming up towards the home corner. 1,300 metres left to go. It's Avon Ace by two and a half to in form. Mabel McGee third on the inside as they turn the corner. And right behind it is the favourite Skippy Trumps. Moving up on the outside is Billy Clay. Ironbark Warrior three back in the running line, but getting a trail forward. Over on the inside of it then is Free Jest, followed by Mr G. Ayer. A long way back on the inside as they race up to the judges. Fighting Mac and Summersby Princess brings up the rear. Past the judge, one circuit left to go. Avon Ace is pulling very hard in the lead. It shows out by a length and a half to in form. Moving up on the outside is Billy Clay, the first without cover. Mobile McGee next on the inside. A length further back to Iron Bark Warrior. Skippy Trump's become awkwardly placed on the inside. Moving around the outside of it as they go down the back is Mr. G.A. Followed by Summersby Princess. Free Jess back second last and fighting Mac is at the tail of the field. Heading up the back, 500 metres left to go. Avon Ace, the leader, trying to hold it back to the field. Billy Clay second, in form running third, and then Iron Bark Warrior, followed by Mr G. Ayer. Next on the inside, Mabel McGee, who's being tapped along, and Skippy Trump's getting pushed right back towards the tail of the field. Back second last now, and Free Jest is at the rear. Off the back. 
350 metres left to go and Ironbark Warrior races up to head off Avon Ace, Billy Clay in the centre, then Mr Gia in forms looking for a way out, Skippy Trump's behind a wall of horses as they turn the corner, into the straight 200 to go and Ironbark Warrior shot to the lead, Ironbark Warrior got clear, Billy Clay trying to go with it, then came in form and Summersby Warrior, but it's Ironbark Warrior in front getting close to home and Ironbark Warrior is too good, Ironbark Warrior by a length and a half on the line, second Billy Clay, third in form, followed by Mr G. Ayer, and then came Summersby Princess, Skippy Trump's getting out late, running on, followed by Free Jest, a long way back then to Avon Ace, Mobile McGee and Fighting Mac. OK, thanks, uh, Wayne. Now, Wentworth Park dividends. And five for the win on the TAB. Just a tick better than evens. The lights on. Racing. Drivers fancy and unextended with Waverley Prince came out of the gate quickly. Copy talk began well. The eruption is fifth going into the first turn and Sir Marcher got off the second line.